<coughs> okay, alright. Welcome to um, the Brick Breaker I'm going to be creating. Uh, the Brick Breaker I'm going to be creating is not actually going to be my game that I'm going to be uh, putting um, onto Congregate. But it's just me just showing you how I would create it. And basically I've gone from R212 to R216 update. <coughs> because I haven't actually opened up Construct 2 and it was like, Oh dude, there's been like a new couple of updates, man. Come on, investigate this stuff, bruh. So I just downloaded that. I don't really understand the change logs. I didn't really look over it at all. So fuck it. Here we go. I'm going to go file. Uh, I'm going to new. <coughs> I'm going to go for a new empty project, alright? And this is basically how I would create an actual brick breaker. And if I could actually just do that, so event sheet. Uh, okay, so just double click, slider bars, text box. I don't think there's anything new here. Um, I add. Uh, I don't think there's anything new, okay? I don't think there is, but I don't fucking know. <coughs> okay, so first of all, what I want to do is I want to actually change this into an actual goodish layout. My brick breaker, I'm thinking. Well, Kongi, I think it's like 700 by 700 is a good layout, like a good size for Kongi, because laptop users and all that kind of shit, so... Let's go with 675,675. Enter. Uh, that's the layout size, you just need to click there, Control c to c View. And this is the actual window size, which is what the actual view, delete that, Control v Enter. I'm using shortcuts, but you can probably right-click, you can probably just like, right-click that, Copy, View that, delete, right click, paste. Yep, it takes a lot longer like that, but that's just because I know shortcuts, okay? <coughs> now, break breaker time, so let's get into it. Now, now I quite like to use, now, I'm probably a little bit too obsessed with this kind of thing. Okay, that's actually a bad idea. Uh, I'm gonna leave that there, because that's good, but, uh, crap. 512, fuck it, 512, we're gonna do 512. 512 by 512. Yep, this is only just because of the power of 2, and it says that it helps a little bit when the tile background is at a power of 2, so we're going to have this one as, oh yeah, like always, do not forget to name your layers and other stuff like that, so we're going to have background, I'm spitting all over the fucking display, Jesus Christ, wait, background, and here is this, and that is exactly 512. But we don't want that. Well, I don't want that at least. So, power of 2. So, um, 64. Uh, 64 is 8. 64s in there because that's 128, which is there, which is 2 of them. 256. There, yeah, so that's 8. So, I'm going to go with 32. Tab 32. Applied whole animation. Stretch. Uh, I don't fucking know. I'm just gonna apply a whole animation. Even actually, I'm only. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, don't. There, there don't. Oh, tell back doesn't have an animation. Wow, you idiot, TV. Anyway, or loaded stock, whatever. Anyway, basically, I'm gonna do this. All right, all right. Here's a little tip. I suffer from a thing which sort of makes my eyes like sort of bright lights. Like when it's sunny and it's blue skies, that's perfectly fine. But when it is basically um, what's the words? Um, sunny blue sky with some light fluffy clouds. That hurts my eyes when I look at them, so. 32, so, or 16, is this 32? This is 16, okay, so, a thickness of 2. We don't want a smooth line, and I'm just gonna do this. And that's not at all the way it is, is it? Oh, that works, nice. Um, I actually really like doing this kind of thing, but, like, this sort of graphic thing, but that's just me. I'm probably- oh my f There we go. And then I need to go for this. Uh, then I want a little bit lighter, but I don't want that much lighter, so I'm gonna do this. Bump. And that's not it. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. And that doesn't work that well. Fuckhead. There we go. Uh, then I'm just gonna scroll in. I'm using the mouse wheel, just holding the mouse wheel down, not scrolling, because that, yeah, just holding it down and then just moving my mouse about that. Um, then what I want to do is I want to get a line, but I want to get thickness of one. Um, I want to select this color, and then I just do this like such. 
um, go across, do this, like such, um, do this, and paint that in, and uh, go up again, go across, paint that in, scroll out, that looks okay, alright, that is extremely basic graphics, and all my games, including the game I'm going to be uploading Hungry, will be extremely basic graphics, okay, it will be extremely, graf extremely basic graphics. So let's just. Uh, I don't really like the contrast of that. I was like there. I know this was like a shell thing, but that's already there and it goes there. So I'm gonna reduce this to like here actually, just so it's a little bit clearer between like that and that. Alright. Okay, so I'll just go out a little bit. Could I darken it? There we go. Okay, it looks okay, I guess. So we're just gonna do that, and that's nice. Position zero comma zero because their origin point. Is just the top left, so yeah. Already control zero, then that just does that. Does that work? No. Anyway, I'll lock the background because that's the background done. And you won't be able to move it. You can you can select it, but you won't be able to move it. I mean, I'm trying to do that and it doesn't because lock. So we add a new layer. This one is going to be game. Uh, game. Okay, and uh, then, oh yeah, I'll just do that, and you can zoom, just middle mouse button, hold, or the mouse wheel are clicked, and then just hold it down and do that and stuff, right? Next important thing is the barriers slash walls. Okay, we're going to have sprites for this, do this, and I would say just set it at 16. Um, yeah, that, that's just me. Um, a line to center, I guess, okay, I don't really know. Uh, Fuck it, 32. I think, it, yeah. The things are 32, so 32, done, okay. And basically, I just tend to have like pure black for this. Boom. Done. And then I just set that to. Those are 32, yeah. So size 520. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, so those are 32. And this one, so that's 32. So basically, the position is minus 16, comma, minus 16. Enter. Um, that's, that's not really what I'm going to do, but okay, um, so length would be 512 plus 64. Uh, seriously, there's no calculator, motherfucker. Um, camera, oh, okay, so that's a, I am so pissed. There we go. Calculator. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. What was it? Oh yeah, 512 plus 16. So 512 plus 16. No. 64. Right. Equals 576. So length or width 576. I should not close the calculator. Height 32. Done. Position minus 16 by 260, which is halfway and stuff, which is good. Just need to do control V, controls. Control C to copy, Control V for there. Size 276, that's fine. We just need to change the positioning to uh, 512 plus. Yeah, 512 plus 16. 6 and 12 is 8, so 528, I think. I think that's straight, I'm not entirely sure, but. 528, Jesus Christ. Um. Yep, 520, that's fine. 528, enter 246 in the Y. That uh, position 260. Yep, so 260. And yeah, pretty much. And you can just do, let's just, let's just drag that into there. And we're going to make that size. Uh, we're going to just do Control C, delete. Control V, and this one's going to be 32. Enter. Okay, and same with the position, but we're going to basically swap them around. So the X will be, so the Y will be 260. Okay, and this one will be the, this. So Y is 528. Okay, so 528. Enter. Uh, just Control C, Control V. Enter and I, we should be good now. Four. Um, the positioning. There we go. Minus sixteen because the center point 
of sprites is in the very middle, so you want to just have room for that, but that's it. Um, the size. Uh, okay, fuck. Uh, I really need to get a pro version or something, because I can't do fuck all. Uh, so 260, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah, 260. Uh, just one. Bloody hell. And 260. Bump. Why does that not look right at all? 276 576 Does not look right at all like Oh right 260 right 260 and two. That does not look right at all what the fuck mm. Minus 17, minus 16. I don't understand this. It's not look right at all. But, fuck it. It works, I guess. Um, I'm just going to drag this up a little bit more. This, a little bit more. This, a little bit more. The reason I'm doing this is because you will see what I do because of the collisions and shit. Um, no, I'm not a successful programmer. I barely know any fucking programming languages. I did, like, Visual Basic at school and shit. Okay, so we got the walls done. Let's just rename this. Rename walls. Enter. Okay, next bricks or blocks or whatever. Okay, let's go for 16 by 16 again. I don't know. And just for the sake of simplicity, we're going to just make them a nice blue, darkish bluish. Um, the reason I do this sort of dark is just because some people with eye problems and I do as well. So. Yeah. And then you just click it, control, and then you should and you always need to just highlight it, hold control, drag, and then it's just like there. You can just do this, 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 and you can do that. Highlight them all at once, copied, ha <laughs> anyway, um actually that's not uh, I'm really wanting. Uh, let's just delete that. Okay. Yeah, let's just do this, and actually, let's, let's, let's make it 32 by 32. Um, and as you can obviously see, it just blends in stuff. Uh, so, we got the brush, size 16, and just feel hard on this. Well, that's why I do that. If you're a very good graphical designer, then go ahead and make whatever the heck you actually want, right? But this is just how I create my games. Um... That'll do for now. Um, we know a ball, so sprite, uh, small one, so I'm gonna do 16. There we go, that is 16. Enter. Scroll in. 16 by 16, 200, nice. Um, I wanna create a nice little purple because I quite like the pur color purple, but it probably is not gonna sit well with this game. But this is just a little show you how to do that, so it's not like an actual game we're gonna be releasing. Um, so, boom, we got that, we also need like, a little thing to go aside, so, um, what do you want, the width of it will be, what, thir uh, 32 by 16, I don't fucking know, and basically, here comes a slightly annoying thing, which I'm going to have to change the collision engine of, the collision, so it's collision polygon, but I haven't finished yet, so I'm going to set it to pure black. One. Um, this is not going to look good, but... Ugh. Yeah, it's not going to look good at all. So that's what, one, two, one, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four, and then... Just go straight like that, I would say. There we go. Uh, paint, just fill in, fill in, fill in, fill in, fill in, fill in. Doesn't work. Son of a... Screw it, color in black, this, alpha, zero. Enter. Alpha is transparency. If it's zero, then it's completely transparent. Actually, no. Alpha. Alpha. If any kids watching, alpha, you can just put that to 
visibility, okay? Alpha is just one of those things, it's basically visibility, right? Don't ask me why, I don't understand this stuff at all, really. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this, like such, I would say. Just do that. Uh, so that's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so that's 1, 2. Oh my god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to do this. I'm going to just make weird and lols. I don't know. Um, looks cool to me. Um, so black. Whatever, I'll come back to you once I've figured out the artistic layout. Okay, just give come back. I'll come back in a second. Give me a second. Okay, well, this is basically as far as I can figure out to do it. There, I probably really should go on some graphical course, but ugh, fuck knows. Anyway, so this is just that. The alpha, I'll set it to 55 just in case I start doing colors again. The collision and this is the collision polygon. Okay, poly, I think, means many and other stuff, I'm not quite sure what gone means, but, you know, <clears throat> and this is basically, like, this line is basically, things will hit there and it'll bounce off in, like, whatever way that the collision engine will set it to, right? Uh, okay, so that's nice, I guess. Um, let's just do this, like, a little bit like that. Uh, and you just double click there and it'll basically add one to the right side of that. Like if I did here, then it would do that. If you want to do it, click that and then press backspace. Okay, well look, uh, delete key. There we go. Press delete key. Delete key. Wow, I'm losing the ability to speak. Great. So do this, do that. And that looks horrible. This, like, paddle thing is not going to be good because that's like... Okay, it doesn't matter, whatever. So, it'll... It looks slightly goodish, and oh my god, that looks like a complete mess. Even without that, it looks like a complete mess. But whatever. You have this. Okay. This rename paddle, I guess. Uh, this one sprite. Um, brick. I would say. Done. Okay. Um. We're going to put that to here, and uh, basically, uh, you got the bricks which are going to be destroyed. You might want to have a score, so if you want to have like, a score displayed, um, I'll go for text. I just click here, just drag it to the top here. Then I just delete that like such, because I'm going to change that with like a little bit of like you know orders or commands or whatever. Uh, I don't really know what kind of fonts actually look good and stuff, fixes, like an easy to read comic sense, I don't know, I don't know what's good to be read or whatever, or whatever, I don't understand, okay, color, horiz horizontal alignment, vertical, hotspot, wrapping, line, more information, Ugh, zero, zero, Okay, so like the entire background, the center point is there because that's where the rotate thing is at, and also the thing right. So zero comma zero, enter, done. Okay then, um, I'm gonna right click here, rename and score, enter. Good. Okay. Um, so time to add like the core elements. Okay, so basically, all right, thank you. Okay. At the moment, we just got the things which are gonna be used. I don't like how that's similar like that, right? I don't like that. Uh, space and out there, there. Okay, my whatever it is just wants me to mess with that butter. So if you want to add like slow, right, so this is how you do it. Behaviors, right? Now we're on to like the actual possible there. Shadowcaster, I need to experiment with that. Anyway, solid. Okay, you want the walls to be solid. You want the bricks. No, you just, right, if you want to change the behaviors, just click once, not double, Stevie, remember. Ugh, anyway, do that, and solid. Okay, uh, paddle. I keep on doing that. I think that's something I got when I was messing about with Scratch, because I think you had to, like, double-click just to the code of it or something. So, yep, yeah, and then this, behaviors, um, this will basically be a bullet, okay? Um, what else? 
The layout is the exact same as that, so I don't think it should have that, so it should be good. Like the actual viewing area is the size of the layout. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, the viewing thing actually just is the layout, okay? Like the viewing thing will start at the very tip of the layout. It won't like go over here, and I don't know how you do that, right? There is like a thing, I think it is, in uh, layers, background, um, where's. Um, yeah, unbounded scrolling. Um, that is basically if you want the thing to scroll there, but you don't. I don't want that, all right? Um, so let's just. So we got that bullet. These solid. That solid. This solid. Okay. Let's just go here. Oh yeah, the bullet. A very important thing if you want there. Bounce off solids. Yes. Otherwise, it'll just go boing straight out of the game. Okay, let's just test that by playing. Bung, bung, dun, 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 dun. And it actually bounces off many things. Let's see as you can see. But if you might be able to see it sort of like bouncing off like a little bit before. Um that is sort of why I created my uh, walls like a, like instead of going like just like that, they're sort of like that and a little bit of that, whatever. Okay, so basically we've added the behaviors onto this. Um now what we need to do is ah yes, I forgot. Pro projects. These are just all the objects and things that can be actually a part of your game. This I need to rename as ball. Um, tile background walls. Yeah, it's um that can be right. In any kind of programming thing, even if it's like as simple as this, it is that can be. It is very, very, very important to actually name things, unless uh, unless there are so few things that you don't really need to name, right? I need to actually save this project, but whatever. Anyway, so let's just. There we are. Okay, so if you want to actually have controls, because we have to have some kind of input, we can't just have a game that plays itself, okay? I think the first game actually was that, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there are touch controls, so if you feel confident, you probably can create this for keyboard, mouse, and touch. There is a tutorial on the Scare Arcade tutorials thing or something about inputs and how you can basically do an auto detect between keyboard and mouse and how you can like make them switch between the two and stuff. So, keyboard. And also a mouse. Uh, bump. I really don't need mouse, but fuck it. Um, okay, and um, basically we're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna do this. Add event. This. Uh, I always have like that because I'm used to that. But if you're used to like, if you want to have that, go ahead. But I'm used to like that. Okay, I'm just used to it. And I want every 0 0.02 seconds. Okay. Um, done. Add action, paddle. Oh yes, I need to add another behavior. I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, set X, and then you just do M, and then you go mouse dot X. I don't really want the absolute X, cause, ugh. but mouse dot X. That's good, I would say. Um, so every 0 0.2 seconds. I mean, there is like an option if you go back. Ow, oh, my. Arm, my elbow is resting on my tables and it hurts. Anyway, uh, for each, where is it? Where's this special one? I can't remember where it is. There's like a thingy every tick or something. Uh, yeah, every tick. Every tick is basically every single free minute of the processor, which usual processors I think are about 1.5 gigahertz. I don't know what the like. The smallest amount of the average one is right, but mine is a is a two point something gigahertz something. But yeah, but not every tick because that 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 that's just waste one resource. Right? So you want that, <coughs> and also you know how we've got a little text thing with score yeah. Every zero point two seconds. Then oh, you also need a global variable for score. System, right click, add global variable. Yep, you see me make mistakes because I'm not giving much of a shit. Initial value, zero, description, yeah, we don't need that. Okay, and then we just do text, and then scroll the bottom, text, set text to, I don't know, score, and then equals, space, I would say, and then you want the ampersand, which is the shift 7. And then you want the there, and basically you just score. Um, 
this is very similar to Visual Basic. Okay, so anybody who's into Visual Basic, then you got the thing, and then you got the ampersand to join the actual text plus a variable, whatever. Score done, and then that'll do it. Okay, now we're going to move on to the collisions and what shall happen. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to just go this ball. Um, is on if is on collision with another object. We're going to go for brick. Done. We're going to have. I can't remember what I did. I think I had a. Am I allowed to add that? No, I'm not allowed to add another every 0 0.2 because yeah. Okay, so I have to do it here, which is the weight, and then 0 0.02. The reason I do this is to basically like. Alright, right, really here I'd actually add that, like, ah, uh, fuck, cannot speak, mother. <sighs> Sorry, you may be like, what the hell, this guy's stupid and weird, but I'm trying to teach you something, and I'm stuttering, and it gets really annoying after a while if you stutter a lot, okay? But anyway, so, basically with this, I'm then going to go with, um, this shall, that's enough. I'm going to system, I'm going to add to... Global variable score value one. Add an action brick. Uh, destroyed. Okay, so that's zero point two seconds. One destroyed. If I didn't have that, the ball can just go straight through. And also, I need. Okay, since the brick's being destroyed, I don't think I need this. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, that can be okay. That should be completely fine. The bricks are being destroyed. They're just being eradicated from the layout. Okay, I won't need to add that. But if the bricks are going to be like moved to off the layout position, or they sort of like go to an animation is hidden and then come back, you will have to turn the um, what you call it, the uh, solid behavior off, which is this add can uh, add action bricks and then solid blah blah. And also, if you're going to have that, you're going to have to have another condition, bricks, and then is enabled. If it is enabled, or if it is not, oh, sorry. So you're going to have to do this. Oh my god, seriously, like, add another condition, and then, what the, f okay, this, add another condition, maybe, I don't know. There we go, you have, okay, yeah, and if, if I, that's just it, I won't actually need that, I don't think, but if I will, then I'll add it. Uh, delete. Okay, so we basically got blam 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 layout one. Uh, let's just test that. Boom, one two, nice little thing, bonk. And you, I mean, I mean, I mean, the ball bounces. It like does that in the back. Like walls here, and it goes douche douche. But the walls here, it's like, yeah. I'm gonna basically show you a simple little trick to change that, but probably not the best. And there's also a thing I need to add that right. 10, 12 bricks, okay, well, let me just, yeah, okay, that works, that works really well, so, give me a second, I'll get back to the thing, close tab, minimize, okay, um, bump, 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 oh, and by the way, right, never, ever, ever set your ball to a horizontal position while it's starting, okay, so I had to like something there and I can also do on the start and layout set the ball position to between this and that, okay? You should be able to figure that out. If you can't, then just look at some tutorials and scare the simple beginner ones and you should be fine. Uh that's just this, okay. Um and well, yeah, this is base that is basically a brick breaker, alright? That is just basically what you need to create a brick breaker, alright? My brick breaker is gonna have at least three modes. One is the infinite mode, which um, is basically just going to be, uh, you know what, screw it, I'm going to just stop here and I'm going to get something off, I'm, I'm going to get something, I'm going to show you my other project, which I work on my free time, and when I say free time, I just mean when I'm messing about in college, anyway, so give me a second just to do that kind of stuff, okay, this is the project that I created in my free time at college or whatever, menu, GL, Grade level, infinite level, the infinite level is this, which is set mouse, blah blah. Uh, go to menu, that's like a little navigation thing, which is this X, go to menu, I, go to there, blah blah. 
grade level, which is not complete, but yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. Let's start the menu and I'll preview that. Okay, so let's go for a grade level. G. And the ball moves really quickly. The collision, I don't I don't know like how I'm gonna do the collision thing because like the ball can just go straight through and stuff, but yeah. Probably by increasing the like if it's on collision with this then bounce or whatever, but I don't know exactly whatever, but yeah, and that score is 60, and it does there, so X, and then I, which is the infinite level. I just love the tile effects. I don't know why, but I just like to create that kind of thing. I also will have to have, like, code which um, stops the ball from going f so horizontal that it just is impossible to move, because that does actually happen, alright? Um, I think I know that. Um, it's basically if the ball is between 180 and there, or between 0 and whatever, 15 or something, then add 10 or something. Um, and if the ball is between uh, whatever, like 165 or something and 118, then 180, then take away this, and if it's between 3. Uh, what did you call it? Three something something rather by there. And you see how the ball sort of like bounces on the actual walls and stuff? I'll show you exactly what I did there. Um, same with the bricks and stuff. So let's go to X and then G. Same with this and stuff. I like this. The, like you think if... Nah, I can't speak. If you, it, there was a little thing in the shadow caster. I did not use that. That is all graphically made, right? I'll... I'll I'll just basically show you what that is, right? Let me just close that. Minimize. Alright, so if you're wondering about this kind of stuff, let's just open up the walls, shall we? Okay. Collision polygon of the walls is a little bit less. Alright. The blocks in infinite modes um, are the exact same. Okay, well that just made me spot a brand mistake mistake I made or thing I didn't do ah. Um boom done. Um paddle, let's just check that. That's a little bit inward. Yep. Cool. Same with the grade mode most likely. The grade mode blocks the collision is a little bit inward but it doesn't even count in the shadow, yeah. With that, basically what that is is that is basically alpha that's basically black but the alpha set lower, okay? So visibility is a lot less, uh, the walls are the exact same for there, and then that's just what it is. But yeah, that's just basically how I created the games, alright? So hopefully you enjoyed, and I've also got a Congate feature, but I don't really know what that actually does. So, actually, uh, yeah. actually that, uh, okay, I, I have absolutely know what I'm doing, so let's just add a little bit there. I have no idea what the sign was. Anyway, so registration, sign in, shirt box, submit statistics. Yeah, okay, that's something else, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, and by the way, this, uh, this, this thing, this is just like a little test that I create just so I can actually know what I'm doing in my main game. Okay, this is not actually going to be uploaded or whatever, so countdown, I don't even need that. Delete, yes. Uh, where is, is that going to? I think it is, sweet. But anyway, yes, um, hope you enjoy. This is how you create a little brick breaking construct too, and it's the first game I'm going to be uploading. Not this one or the one I showed you, but, whatever so goodbye will be a fun and share this with your friends or actually probably don't because i'm absolutely horrific but goodbye